Welcome back to Fun Media, and today we're gonna talk about editing soft software, and we're gonna talk about should you buy or upgrade Pinnacle Studio 25. All right, let's do it. Okay, so first thing first, Pinnacle Studio is what can be called a prosumer software. So it's not like the one they use in Hollywood, those big giant software like Avid or Final Cut Pro, it's not also like the very, very low without any kind of effect software. It's really a prosumer, which is good if you want to do small effect on movies or a bit of television, YouTube. It's good for that. So now, should you buy it? Of course, if you, if you don't have any and just a bit of knowledge with editing, first thing I'm going to say is yes, buy Pinnacle Studio 25. Always go with the ultimate version. There's a Special price right now, it's at 64 or, or the ultimate version is at 84 So for only $20, you get more stuff. So the ultimate version is always my stuff. Now, should you upgrade? Yes, no, maybe. It depends. All right. So if you're at Pinnacle Studio 23 or 24 right now, and you basically just use like a bit of transition, bit of title and just doing small editing like cut stuff here and there put a bit of music there's no point of upgrading for the new one honestly because 23 24 ultimate they were perfectly fine you can do chroma key you can do um, tracking you got a lot of good transition a lot of anything you know music is good the software works perfectly fine so if you don't use any kind of major effect, I don't see the point of upgrading. If you do need those little, little small thing, I'm gonna tell you what's new with Pinnacle 25 Ultimate version. Of course, if you're at Pinnacle like 20 or 21, they have one almost a year, a new one. So if you're at 20 or 19, of course the answer is yes. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of stuff are, are being enhanced working better, softwares, I mean, every year they had something new or something working better. So if your last version is five years ago, the answer is yes. I mean, just upgrade it. It's not a thousand dollar, right? It's still pretty cheap, 80 something dollar. Right now, like I said, it's unspecial. So if it's all, yes. If you got 23 or 24, ah, uh, you might want to wait if you don't really, really need it. I mean, don't go too fast, just look at what's new. Do you need this little thing only? Ah. So what's new in 25? There you go. With 24, they had this little title editor, which you can do better intro, outro, all that kind of stuff. So they just worked a little more on that one. So on 25, if you're really the pro guy or want to do title exactly this little thing, this little thing, well, Title editor is a little better with 25. Now, masking, it's been enhanced, so it's working a little better. Honestly, with 23 and 24, I think that masking with Pinnacle Studio is already super, super good. So for that one, unless like you're doing masking with every video you're doing, ah, it's been enhanced, but you don't really, really need it. Same thing with tracking that I just talked about masking, tracking is working a little better. Object tracking, you know, if you really, really use tracking in every video, it might work the upgrade. If you don't need a tracking, well, with 25, it's being enhanced. Maybe you need it, maybe not. All right. 8K import. So if, unless you don't have the 8K cam, you don't need it, but 8K imports been added to Pinnacle Studio. And they also upgraded stuff with uh, DVD making. If you're doing only YouTube, you don't need DVD templates. So with uh, Pinnacle Studio 25, the basic one, you have like 50 uh, templates. And with the ultimate version, you have 100. If you don't know, if you don't need DVDs, well, it's not for you. Something else that's new, well, something they just add every version. They're always talking about stability, stability and performance. Um, no bannered version, 
depending on your computer, but even for those who have a good computer, Pinnacle Studio, that's a little downside, but it's not the only software, editing software that's like that, it might crash. So stability, performance, I mean, if you already have a good computer, 24, 23 is going to work perfectly anyway. You know, if you're making editing out of your living, that's only the thing you're doing and you, you're using Pinnacle Studio well, it might work the upgrade. But honestly, what I do is normally I just jump at least two version. I went from 23, you know, to, I went from 22 to 24. Maybe I'm going to wait to, well, I tried 25, but it wasn't mine. It was with my buddy's computer. And I haven't seen, like, for me, the worth of buying it right now. But I like trying it. So I, I tried it like a couple of times on my, on my buddy computer. I might wait for 26 because, I mean, for my personal use, I don't really need it. But oh, I know how I'm working in my head. I'm, I might just one day go, ha, ah, it's pretty cheap anyway. Maybe I'll try it. But honestly, the point is, if you don't have any editing software, Panicle Studio 25, really, really good choice. You have the keyframe, you have everything you need with a bit of effect, and it's really good for doing YouTube and small videos. If you're looking to go to Hollywood, well, it might not be a perfect choice for you. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's it. So please like the video. If you have any comment about uh, the software, write it right here. Uh, subscribe for more. I got a, a playlist with tons of pinnacle stuff, and I will talk to you next time. See you guys.